The personal data on your smartphone is super important. And it goes without saying that you should always have a reliable backup of things like your photos, videos, your messages, contacts, personal notes. Well, basically everything that is on your smartphone just in case something goes wrong. Like if the phone gets stolen or if the screen stops working. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to backup the entire contents of your Samsung smartphone to a USB flash drive and also show you how to restore everything from it. And one of the reasons why we are going to use a USB flash drive is because it is one of the most reliable sources of a backup. You see, the thing is, once you take a backup on this, you can store it away in a safe place and update the backup every now and then. And secondly, Samsung smartphones have a built-in feature that backs up the entire phone onto a USB flash drive and it will back up everything including the contents and the settings of your home screen. So now let me show you how this works. Alright, so the first thing you will need is an empty USB Type-C flash drive which has sufficient capacity to accommodate everything that is on your smartphone. You can actually go to the settings and then scroll down to battery and device care and check how much storage you've got. This is a 512GB S23 Ultra but as you can see, we're only using about 25GB worth of space. Rest of it is occupied by the apps and the system. So a 128GB USB flash drive is more than enough to accommodate everything that is on the phone. Oh, and you can also use a USB Type-A flash drive, but then you will need a USB Type-C to Type-A adapter which are easily available on Amazon. Okay, so I've got the USB drive plugged in and to start the backup, drop down the notification panel and go to settings. Scroll down to accounts and backup and inside here tap on external storage transfer and then tap on USB storage. And here you're gonna see three options. You can choose to back up the entire contents of your phone by selecting everything and this is what I recommend. Or you can just choose to back up the call logs, contacts and messages. And lastly you also have the option of a custom backup. So here you can choose from the individual items on your phone. And if you are wondering, yes it also backs up the secure folder. You can see it over here. Anyways, I'm gonna select everything so that we have an exact replica of the phone. And now the phone is asking us if we wanna include the secure folder or not, which we obviously want to include. And guys, the backups are pretty secure. They are actually encrypted and you will need to enter the credentials of your Samsung account on the phone you are restoring the backup on. And I'm gonna show you how when we restore this backup onto another phone. And the whole backup process took only about 15 minutes even though the phone was showing 1 hour remaining. That might be because we are using a USB 3.1 flash drive. And make sure that you properly unmount the USB drive before removing it from the phone. So yeah, there you go. This USB drive contains the entire contents of the S23 Ultra. And now we can restore this backup onto pretty much any Samsung smartphone. Although keep in mind that the contents are encrypted and to decrypt, you will need to sign in into your Samsung account. So I will be demonstrating the restoration process on the Note 10 Plus and once we finish, it should be identical to the S23 Ultra. And right now you can see that I've done a factory reset and everything is as it would be when you first unbox and power on your phone. The only thing that I've done is I've signed in with my Google account. So yeah, let's start. I've got the USB drive in and now we are gonna go into the settings and once again go back to the accounts and backup. Then we are gonna tap on external storage transfer, give it all the permissions and tap on allow. And finally, select the latest backup under restore from USB. Now to decrypt the backup, you will need to sign in into your Samsung account. And once you do, you will be able to restore the backup. So take a look, it is decrypting the data. And now we can select the items that we wanna restore. I'm gonna leave it on everything. So yeah, let's start the restoration process. Now it will take a couple of minutes to restore everything. So let the phone do its thing. 
Now, once the phone finishes transferring the data from the USB, it's gonna start organizing everything. This is gonna happen in the background and you can check the progress from over here. Also, we can now go ahead and remove the USB drive and once again make sure to safely unmount it before yanking it off your phone. Now sometimes it may appear that nothing is happening and the app is stuck. This is completely normal and the phone is doing something in the background. The organizing process can take anywhere from 15 minutes to 30 minutes, depending on how big the backup is. And once the phone finishes organizing the data, you're gonna see that it looks pretty much identical to the phone you took the backup from. So take a look, our Note 10 Plus looks almost identical to the S23 Ultra. Well, at least the home screen is identical down to the widgets and their size. I've also noticed that many app icons are grayed out. This is because the phone is still installing the apps in the background and you can see it here. And obviously, some of the apps are not compatible with the Note 10 Plus, like the Expert Raw app, so these are not gonna work. But yeah, it looks like it has restored 99% of the apps. Let's go to the home screen and check that out. The home screen layout is also now identical, although the battery widget is missing because the battery widget is not there on the Note 10 Plus. This is because it is running slightly older version of One UI. And... It looks like we also have all of our photos and videos. That is nice. And checking the Samsung Notes app, looks like all of our content is here, including the photo notes. Let's check the messages. Yes, all of our messages have been carried over, but we don't have the Google messaging app here. Instead, we have Samsung messages. But all of the messages are here, which I cannot show because it shows the bank transactions. So it shouldn't be an issue and you can always reinstall Google Messages from the Play Store. Now as for the secure folder, all you need to do is open it on the phone and go through the initial setup. And once you do, the phone is gonna prompt you to restore the secure folder items from a backup. And all you have to do is tap on restore. And once the process completes, you will see that even the secure folder looks identical. So check this out, we do have all of the apps and uh, the gallery also contains all of our secret photos. So yeah, using this method, you can actually back up the entire contents of your phone, including the secure folder onto a USB flash drive. That is awesome. Now, one limitation is that you will need to sign in into certain apps, like for example, WhatsApp. It really depends. For some apps you don't, but for some you will have to sign in once again. And as for WhatsApp chat backup, well, it already has a built-in backup feature that will backup the chats on Google Drive. But nonetheless, this is still an awesome feature and I would recommend taking backups every month so that you have the most updated offline backup of your phone. And with that, we have come to the end of the video. And as always, if you have enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button because that helps out a lot. And subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy watching videos like these. And lastly, the wallpaper download link is in the video's description. So yeah guys, thank you for watching and this is Tech Guy Charlie signing off.